What if a single star challenged everything we know about the age of the universe? Can we imagine a universe that is actually much older than assumed? In a shock moment for science, the James Webb Space Telescope has just tracked down a star whose age challenges our previous understanding of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope Imagine our universe is not the youthful 13.7 or 13.8 billion years old as once thought. Instead, it could have existed for a whopping 26.7 billion years, or even be far older. Let that sink in for a moment. That's twice as old as previously thought. And fantastic things could have happened during this time, which were previously missing from our calculations. This brand new finding is based on a study by Rajendra Gupta, a professor of physics at the University of Ottawa. And if it proves true, it will change our conception of the universe forever. The professor found a plausible solution to the puzzle of the impossible early galaxy problem. James Webb discovered six galaxies in the summer of 2023 that are so old and strange that they are incompatible with the previous idea of the Big Bang. For years, scientists have estimated the age of the universe in two ways. First, by calculating the time that has passed since the Big Bang, and second, by studying the oldest stars based on redshift. The phenomenon of redshift occurs when light from an object moving away from us travels through space and time to us and is stretched in the process. The light then changes toward the red end of the light spectrum. By measuring this redshift, researchers have been able to calculate the age of the universe. In 2021, scientists were still using a model called Landis CDM Concordance to estimate that the universe is about 13.797 billion years old. But there's a problem. Some stars appear to be older than the universe itself, according to the redshift scale. This mystery was already keeping researchers on their toes, so when the James Webb Telescope discovered the impossible galaxies, another piece of the puzzle was added. Something could not be right with the assumption of a colossal explosion that gave birth to our universe about 13.8 billion years ago. Let's put it this way. These six galaxies are far too advanced for their age. They existed only about 300 million years after the Big Bang, but had the mass and maturity normally found in galaxies billions of years old. They are also much smaller, but highly organized and with a star formation rate that just amazes us. Researchers suspect that these old galaxies were all starburst galaxies, in which far more new stars were born each year than is the case today in the most active galaxies. And this does not fit into the picture of the previous Big Bang theory. The Theory of the Tired Light of Fritz Wicke Fritz Wicke was a Swiss astronomer who spent most of his life at the California Institute of Technology in the USA and made many important contributions to theoretical and observational astronomy. According to his 1929 Theory of Tired Light, the redshift we observe may not be as related to the distance of light as scientists previously thought. The simple model states that the objects with the highest redshift are farthest away from us, moving away from us, and are among the oldest objects in the cosmos. Zwicky proved that the shift of light frequency to the red spectrum can also happen because light loses energy on its long journey through the universe. For a long time, this theory was at odds with what astronomers saw in the universe. But according to Gupta, this error in evaluating the redshift could explain the phenomenon of the star being older than the universe, as well as the six impossible galaxies. However, if it's true that redshift has provided decades of erroneous data about the distance and age of galaxies and stars, the whole early cosmological worldview needs to be revised. Observations and conclusions about the expansion of the universe would also come under renewed scrutiny. Scientists can spin it any way they want at the moment. Something is wrong with old theories, and right now, no one knows exactly what. Gupta's answers to these pressing questions go further. He also put forward a new hypothesis based on the work of physicist Paul Dirac. His coupling constants are fundamental physical rules that deal with how particles interact with each other. According to the physicist, these constants may have changed over time. In plain English, this would mean that light and matter behaved physically quite differently in the early times of the cosmos than they do in the present. If this is true, we cannot apply our present knowledge from observations of light and relative sizes in space to the early universe. This could be an explanation, but the thesis again raises new problems. 
How can we then find out what are the oldest objects in the cosmos and how our universe was formed? By observing the strange and very distant objects again and completely without prejudice, we could probably in time find guidelines for new rules of early astronomy. But this requires time, and again, it is still open when we will know if the Big Bang really existed and how old our universe really is. The Impossible Galaxies One thing is for sure, even if scientists call these six galaxies impossible, they are more real than any scientific thesis. What the James Webb Telescope shows here is real. The telescope does not interpret or compare the impressions with existing scientific theories. It just shows what is, and researchers have to deal with it. But James Webb's light filtering technologies can help find out more about early galaxies. To develop Dirac's new constants, we need to accurately study the formation of early galaxies over the period from a few hundred million years to several billion years. Then, we could find out why these galaxies are so advanced for their age. Gupta took his work a step further and challenged the traditional interpretation of cosmological constants. These say, among other things, that dark energy drives the universe to expand faster. Instead, the scientist proposes a new constant that accounts for evolving coupling constants. This change could tell us why early galaxies are smaller than expected and provides a more accurate picture of the universe. In the new explanations, the model of time and galaxy formation stretches out for several billion years, giving the universe an estimated age of about 26.7 billion years, rather than 13.8 billion years as previously thought. Gupta's calculations indicate that the universe may be much older than we thought. Some of the greatest mysteries would suddenly be explainable, like the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope and the star that is older than the universe. The JWST The new James Webb Telescope has enabled astronomers to see deeper and more accurately into the cosmos than ever before. The entire mission has been called a journey to cosmic dawn by NASA and the other nations involved. As if to say, hey guys, you made a mistake. The telescope showed galaxies so old and so evolved that they do not match the cosmic dawn at all. For more than 50 hours, the telescope exposed this corner of the universe, extracting light from a total of 44 galaxies that formed in the first 500 years of the universe. If you believe that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. So, the impossible galaxies are not alone. More and more galaxies have been sighted that are very old and unusual. The latest data from Webb's observations even show that the deeper we look, the more galaxies we find. Some of these galaxies existed ready, highly organized, and brilliantly bright only 200 million years after the supposed Big Bang. And that cannot be according to the previous Big Bang doctrine. According to the standard model of cosmology, there should have been only single stars, groups of stars, or perhaps basic structures of galaxy formation at this epoch but not ready galaxies, which seem to be billions of years old. Large amounts of energy in very old galaxies. Data from the observations have also shown that these primordial galaxies were emitting a phenomenal amount of energy into space, 10 times more than scientists predicted. To understand this phenomenon, let's look at the deep field image taken by James Webb's MARI instrument. This deep view of the cosmos shows vivid and bright spiral galaxies in the foreground and a host of much older galaxies in the distance. Virtually all of these objects are galaxies. When scientists zoomed in on three of the heavily redshifted galaxies in the background, they discovered that these galaxies were radiating unexpected amounts of energy. The data also suggest that they formed about 200 to 500 million years ago after the Big Bang when the age of the universe was 1 to 5% of its present age. The big question here is how these galaxies could have emitted such a phenomenal amount of energy into space. Scientists are faced with two possible scenarios here as well. Some of the red radiating energy points are actually black holes or massive stars even larger than the brightest hypergiant stars inhabiting the universe today. To find the answer, astronomers have used advanced computer simulations to reconstruct how the universe evolved over billions of years. From the formation of the first stars and galaxies to the formation of the essential organic materials for life. But here too, scientists hit a limit they hadn't anticipated. 
None of these simulations could logically explain or coherently fit into the picture why extreme emissions of ultraviolet energy emanated from very old galaxies. Again, it's Rajendra Gupta's model of changing constants in early space that provides the only coherent explanation. Scientists are currently testing Gupta's theory, and we may soon understand the true mystery behind the origin story of the universe. Gupta's hypothesis could change all that. Subscribe now, because the best videos are yet to come.